This is the Eid edition of Joy News Prime. Let's move on to other stories. In the Upper West Regional Missionary of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission, Malvi Chaudhry Muzaffar Ahmed has revealed that the religion, that religion will not declare support for, I beg your pardon, he's revealed that religion will not declare support for any individual or political party standing in this year's election. Speaking in WA at the celebration of the Eid al -Adha, he said, uh, religion sees all political parties as development agents and will not like to do anything that will suggest it supports one against the other. Rafiq Salam reports. Over 10,000 Ahmadi Muslims converge at the Jujuri Gardens for the two Rakat open congregational prayer. And this won't be only God. They were led by the Upper West Regional Mystery of the Movement. Molvi Chaudhry Muzaffar Masru Ahmed. In a sermon after the prayers, he called on Muslims not to do anything untoward that will mar the peace of the country. Adding, the Ahmadi Muslim Mission will not support any individual or political party in the December polls. Islam taught us that we should be faithful to the country, not to the, any particular party. So all parties belong to Ghana. It belongs to our own people. So we don't need any violence. It should be a remain peaceful country, how it is. So because of this, I say we, Ahmadi, shouldn't make any disorder in this land. Upper West Regional Minister, in a speech read on his behalf by his deputy, Dr. Musebu Muhammad Alpha, stated that the government is committed to helping the Electoral Commission conduct free and fair elections. He advised the celebrants, especially the youth, to be moderate in their celebration to avoid needless deaths. It is sad to note that the month of July alone in the Upper West Region recorded eight deaths through motorbike accidents while several people got severely injured. It is my expectation that we will follow road regulations wear crash helmets and be mindful of other road users to prevent further gory accidents. I would like to call on religious leaders to continue to pray for our leaders and the entire citizenry to ensure that we go through this election without any incident. Some of the celebrants shared their thoughts with Joy News on the festival. I'm elated by the crowd that we have seen here, which has been so disciplined and which epitomizes the characteristics of Islam. And I'm happy that with the lessons that we have learned here from the sermon, peace has been cardinal. And uh, I think that peace is a prerequisite for the development of any nation or any part of this world. Well, so I'm happy that uh, this has happened here and I'm hopeful that, pe that the people of Ghana will listen to this message and take it seriously. Great. And it's a blessing to every Muslim. At least this celebration is once in a, a year. And as a Muslim, when you celebrate this festival, you have to give thanks to the Almighty Allah for giving you the chance to have this celebration. We hope for more blessings, prosperity, and as this year is election year, we are praying that we go through the election.